so let's do this one now. It says, um, determine the energy of a mole of photons with a frequency of 3.9 times 10 to the 13th hertz. Okay, so there's a few things in there that hopefully um, you've caught on to. So they're thinking, or they want you to do a mole of photons. So um, for this equation, of course, you're going to have to remember the energy equation. G equals NH frequency. Okay, so when you're given frequency, it's best to use this equation instead of converting it to wavelength using the Rydberg energy equation, which seems a little backwards, obviously. Um, you also have to um, know that you're going to use Planck's constant, but that's going to be given to you, right? So, um, 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 meters squared kilograms per second. Is this one in our notes? Huh? Is this one in our notes? Uh, yeah, it's on that review sheet oh. that I gave you. Um, so, we're, we're, so we're looking for uh, the energy associated with a mole. So the other thing is, is a mole, right? So the number of photons is going to be 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd photons. If somebody wants to get that door, that'd be awesome. So I don't have to do it for them. Okay, and then the frequency they gave us 3.9 10 to the 13th hertz. Okay, so, I mean, I know you need very much more, but um, so just plug it in. And then you should get what you want. So n, in this case, it's not one photon. It's a mole of photons, right? So 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. And if you want to think about it, it's photons per mole. In fact, let's write that out. So you can see all the units. Okay. Times Planck's constant, 6.626 um, times 10 to the negative 34th uh, meters squared uh, kilogram per one second. And then hertz, remember, that's another way of saying per second. For the constant, don't you have to have times seconds again? Because it, or was it? No, that's a different problem. OK. okay. Different problem. And again, if you thought that, once you cancel out your units, you figure it out. Yeah. OK? So do that first. OK, so 3.9 times 10 to the 13th per second. Okay. So, are you going to cancel any of those units out? No, but hopefully you remember that one meter squared kilogram or second squared equals one joule. Okay. That's cool with that.